All right, so I'm, I'm here waiting for the bus, ready to head out on a crazy long run here on La Palma. I'm gonna do Fuencaliente to El Pilar. It's uh, 17 kilometers and 1,400 meters of elevation. It's gonna be an epic run, and I thought I'd just give you guys an overview of uh, what gear I'm bringing on the run, including hydration and nutrition strategy. So I'm just sitting here basking in the morning sun. I just had um, seven bananas. So it's about 9.30 now in the morning. Uh, I had seven bananas. Well, I started the day with like half a liter of water. Then I had seven bananas now. And then I'll start my run in about two hours. Um, because there, yeah, there's a lot of, I have to take a few buses and stuff like that. So. Uh, I got two hours to digest about uh, 700 calories and at that point my stomach will be fairly empty uh, ready to start taking in the, the run nutrition. Let's talk about uh, that in a second. First I want to show you guys what I, I'm wearing. So first of all I'm wearing these the Ultra Superior 2.0 shoes. Uh, really solid uh, trail running shoes, very comfortable, very uh, good. And underneath I got the Injinji toe socks of course. Uh, then I'm wearing the compressed sport calf sleeves uh, and I like them a lot and then just like uh, ASICS uh, shorts. On my upper body I have, first of all I have the heart rate monitor for my Garmin 630, super epic watch and then I have a t-shirt from Kraft and then a long sleeve shirt from Saucony. Uh, and I might or might not use this while I'm running but I'm, the highest point of the run is going to be 1900 meters. So uh, it might be a little cool up there. So I'm just bringing this just in case and also for the sun in case I need to protect myself against the sun. It's nice to have a long sleeve shirt along with me on the run. Uh, I'll be wearing a cap against the sun and of course sunglasses. So that's basically what I'll be wearing. Let's take a look at my backpack. So here I have the Osprey Rev 6 backpack. And by the way, I'll put links in the description to all the different gears I'm using, affiliate links. And if you want to buy those, you can click the link and go ahead and buy it. And if you do, we get a little bit of a commission uh, for sending you there, but the price remains the same for you. So it's a good way to support the project. Anyway, here's the backpack, uh, really nice backpack. Um, inside it, I have a few things. First of all, I have the GoPro Hero 4 Silver camera, which is filming right now. It stays in this pocket. And in this little pouch, I have my photo camera. The, this one, the Sony Cybershot. Ooh, I can't remember the model right now. I'll put it in the description. Take some cool pictures from my Instagram account that you better go check out. The link is also in the description. And I've got my money, my cards, my bus card, all that stuff. My phone. And I have the number for a girl that's staying at the camping that I'm staying at right now, just in case of an emergency, I can call her. Uh, and there's a car there that she can use, just in case, right? And I'm also gonna get the number for the taxi people, because after my run, I actually have to get home and I need to rely on hitchhiking. I have to find some tourists and ask them if I can catch a ride. And if I can't do that, I'll have to take a taxi. So I need their number too. Then I'll also be using these. My uh, brand new Black Diamond Distance Z uh, trekking poles, carbon, super light, like 150 grams each. They fold out, obviously, uh, and they're just like really nice to, to when you're going on steep uphills to help save the legs a little bit and help out with the arms. So I'll be using those. I tried them for the first time last week when I did Faro de Fuencaliente to Los Canarios, uh, that run. Uh, that's the first segment of the Transvulcania race. Today I'm doing the second segment of the Transvulcania race, which is from Los Canarios to El Pilar. Uh, so yeah, they'll come in handy. I'll make a review of them at a later point for sure. Now let's talk a little bit about my nutrition. So um, first of all, yeah, as I said, I ate those bananas. And then in the back backpack here, I have a bladder of uh, one and a half liter of water uh, with about 150 grams of sugar and a little bit of salt uh, in it. So this is my uh, this is 150 grams of sugar. That's about 600 calories. 
so that's gonna fuel me through my um, two and a half hour run probably and then as I finish I'll start eating my recovery uh, meal which is gonna be of dates I have about maybe 150 grams of dates and then a bag of dried bananas uh, about six bananas in this pack hopefully I'll also be able to find some water at the El Pilar uh, place when I arrive there there's like a area for people to cook stuff and like you know camp and stuff so there's probably a little bit of water available there so that's pretty much it that's that's it I'll be uh, obviously drinking my um, my fuel and everything through this thing that goes on the front of the backpack and yeah that's it that's everything I've got uh, as I said, I'll put links in the description if you want to check out the gear in more detail. I really look forward to this run. It's going to be absolutely, insanely epic. Uh, it's perfect weather. Uh, sun is out. And, uh, not much clouds up on the mountain. Um, I'm a little nervous as well, obviously. It's going to be pretty intense. It's the toughest run of my life, basically. Uh, but I'm going to force myself to keep the intensity easy, though. Uh, because... Uh, last time uh, I did the, the long run last week I pushed a little bit too hard I mean it was all good fun anyway but I need to learn how to keep my intensity low when I'm doing these long runs with all this climbing and everything I just need to but you know I, I have to walk I have to tr uh, hike those uphills and that's part of the game so that's nice with these trekking poles as well I think that's about it I, I love gear I love equipment I love tools I love technology uh, and I'm really excited about a lot of these uh, items and as I'm getting more and more into running and more serious about it I'm also getting acquiring more and more uh, gear and I think that's that's a fun process I, I really like it like my latest acquisition as I said was these trekking poles and it's just I don't know it it just it makes it makes the whole thing all the more fun like I remember when I got my first Garmin watch and then later when I got this one it was just like it took my running to another level because suddenly, I mean, I don't know, I, I just, I, I also get excited by having cool tools, you know? So anyway, I hope your running is going well. Tell me in the comments um, uh, how it's going, uh, what kind of equipment you use maybe. Maybe you've tried some of the equipment that I have here. Do you have experience with trekking poles? Anything like that, share it in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. Please subscribe, of course, if you haven't done so already. And stay tuned for more videos coming up. Thanks for watching. See you around.